Hey, what's up? Working on the ship now. This is pretty cool because uh, this is where you're going to be able to buy items. You're able to like, take the, the currency and the experience you've earned in battles and buy weapons, armor, and different skills. So you take some of your experience you can learn new skills. And um, this is where it'll all kind of happen. This is just a very general um, layout for the ship. And imagine this as like it was, it's like a home, like a hub world basically, where um, there's going to be other players here. You're going to have like this home area, fun stuff, like a, a ship mess hall, you know, stuff going on like that, but also these stores. And I'm thinking also it might be some sort of like expanding area as the game um, is, is built more and more and there's more content added. Um, maybe there's secret stores. Um, stuff like that so we've got those three different uh areas right now so this is the over here in the west this will be the weapons store over here in the east will be the armor store and down here will be the skills learning dojo or store or whatever that's also going to be something fun it's kind of making each area sort of unique um in itself like maybe this is like a like a dojo where you learn different skills or maybe it's just more of an item store where you buy stuff i'm not exactly sure yet um but you can see as i uh as i stand on these little platforms here that purchases item id 10 that's purchasing 11 that's 12 and the same thing for all these these are separated out into different item numbers so i've got to go in and add all the metadata for that kind of stuff for items the price of items which items there are the descriptions of all the items and then kind of create some kind of small interface so this um hub world you can at least confirm the fact that hey i want to buy this item for this many uh this much currency and then we've also got the enter battle mode, so or enter battle part of the part of the ship where this will take you to battle. This is something where you confirm it too, like, hey, do you want to go battle some other players right now? Yes, boom, you warp to a match, um, and that like arranges all the whole like matchmaking, matchmaking, and everything happens just automatically, and boom, you're in the game. Um, so that's it. That's really all, all it is so far is just basically um, there's a lot of bugs right now. You can check, you can tell like things get real messed up when I warp into battle. There's a lot of things like that have not been, uh, a lot of variables which have not been cleared and things like that that are going on that are causing a lot of weird bugs when I warp into battle. Um, but that'll be part of my part of my next tasks. But if, for now it's just really nice to have this basic hub world created where things are in place where I can add in the code so that a player can tell what kind of items they have and what abilities they have. Like, I'm thinking for your skills down here, this is gonna be a really fun one, but it'll be some sort of skill tree. And I'm not exactly sure how the skill tree will look here in this hub world, like how do you, um, like, but to give an example, like you have the ghost sword item where you, you're, when you swing the sword, um, or actually it's a different button now, but you press a button and um, it shoots out some ghost swords Maybe one of your upgrades there is it splits into two different ghost swords. So you shoot two ghost swords instead of one. That's a skill you can learn or an item you can buy, something like that around here. How will that look like when you want to split it into three? After you've bought that first splitter, you get a second splitter, right? Maybe that'll just be sitting here on the item stand after you go battle again. You come back here and, oh, I can purchase the, the triple splitter if I have enough experience. Um, a lot of stuff to figure out there, but nice to have this sort of basic bones in place for this, the structure, the, um, the, the framing, you could say, of this ship area. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. And um, really, the, if I want to cover the code really quick, it's really not... I'm not even sure if this is really worth covering. It's just, um, it's just a lot of math. <laughs> It's like, okay, here between these points um, on the map, there's this one place where uh, it raises the dais. And right here, it, it creates a purchase item and a dais and stuff like that. It's it's a lot of the code I've already um, created for the existing map, which is probably all going to change anyways when I go to more of a procedural design. Uh, for now, this is just kind of like hacking it out quick with math. So there you have it. Thanks for watching again. Catch you later.